And uh, you shall go even to Babylon, where we are today. There shall you be delivered. There the Lord shall redeem thee from the hand of thine enemies. This is why Jesus Christ says, love your enemies. Your enemies are bringing you to perfection. God is bringing the sword of the land from, of King Nebuchadnezzar from the far north, from the north country, which is uh, also a spiritual uh, place where uh, Satan is in, in heaven, in uh, part of heaven, the lower heaven, where he is uh, he being used also uh, his spirit through in man, where men are worshiping Satan. And of course, uh, God's bringing the sword through a man, through men, to oppress his children, so his children will be delivered. This is how God delivers. God wants the creation to produce on its own. And uh, so this is why God says, love your enemies, because your enemies are perfecting you. Your enemies are helping you to find God. Now, it, uh, Revelations 18.4 says to come out of Babylon. Now, Romans 3, verse 27, teaches that faith is not only a recommendation or a commandment. Faith is a law. It means that without faith, you cannot, you cannot move on. You cannot please God. You can, you're breaking his law. If you break one law, you break all laws. If you break, if you're an idolater,